I'm Michelle Casey. Welcome to Corona Therapy, a group exhibition curated by myself and my longtime friend, hairdresser and salon owner, Margot Zakarian. The show highlights the work of a circle of my visual arts friends and colleagues, which was produced during the 2020 COVID-19 lockdown here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. The exhibition features a variety of media, photography, drawing, painting, mixed media, collage, weaving, tapestry, Japanese calligraphy, and poetry. Like many of you, for us as artists, the COVID-19 lockdown was a period of great fear, but it was also a period of great awakening and positive transformation. We added new routines to our day, such as walking, appreciating or connecting with our family and roots, as well as nature. In a positive sense, COVID-19 also gave us more time to reflect and make art. Corona therapy features a wide variety of themes, fear, loss, loneliness, and isolation, as well as hope, happiness, dry humor, and self-reflection through the natural or urban landscapes. In times of distress, the artists in Corona Therapy chose to channel their nervous, fearful energy into something tangible, like a photo, a drawing, a poem, or a tapestry. For them, making art was like taking a medicine or a vitamin. Margos, how long have uh, you had your gallery up here at the Salon? Well, I've been at this location now since January. However, since I started my business in 97, I've uh, started bringing an artist in just to uh, change the energy in the, uh, in the environment and have something to talk to. Oh, how many artists do you think have shown in your Salon over those years? Oh, wow. Wow, quick math, uh, six, uh, six artists easily a year. Okay. And that's what's uh, 97 to 220, that's yeah. 23 years. Holy a lot cow. of artists, wow. but a lot of repeats as well in the sense yeah. of uh, keeping uh, uh, the friends coming back and uh, enjoying the artists and, uh, and their shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have uh, quite a collection of art that you bought from artists in your shows, haven't you? Oh yes, I love to support my local artists. They're yeah. uh, they're uh, phenomenal. If uh, there's a uh, connection to it, I really enjoy. Yeah, for sure. Yes. How many artist works do you have in your collection now? I know you bought a couple of my pieces. Absolutely, I would say uh, I would say over thirty. Over thirty? Wow, yeah. that's incredible. I would say incredible. over thirty, and yeah. a uh, good collection of uh, quite a few artists in a sense, and uh, all together there's yeah about a hundred pieces or mm -hmm. more. Enjoy it. I enjoy it. Marcus, um, do you have a, what kind of criteria do you have for selecting artists that come to your salon? Uh, it's uh, fairly basic and simple in the sense that uh, I try to keep it uh, uh, family friendly. I am not a, uh, a, an art gallery to stand by the artist. However, I do enjoy the art to, uh, to evoke some kind of an emotion and, uh, and bring people together. So it's got to be family oriented. Uh, as a criteria, you know, uh, nudity is one thing that I don't care to showcase on a regular basis. However, I have done that and uh, eh, not, not necessary in, in this kind of a space with uh, little kids running around simply because I enjoy the whole family environment. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I also, I also meant, uh, uh, are you showing professional artists? Do you like oh, to yes. mix them with yes. emerging artists? I, or, uh, uh, do you see any divisions between the, the, the mediums, the type of genres of art that you see on your walls? I the number one thing is a professional image simply mm -hmm. because I've had everything from uh, clothing scarves uh, as well as uh, potteries and uh, clay works to uh, sculptures uh, it all depends on the show itself just as long as uh, one of the things I say is professional framed nothing of a high school taped up to the walls or anything of that nature or thumbtack to the unless that is the feature that the artist wants to uh, uh, produce and uh, showcase however I haven't come across that much of that kind of a sin but uh, yeah. All types, all types. I'll take them all in the sense of a professional image. Mm -hmm. is the key. 
And Marcos, uh, do, how do your clientele react to the art on the walls? Because normally when they go into a hairdressing salon, they're going to see images of uh, beautiful hairstyles on the wall and posters, yet you have all this art around. Um, how do your clients feel about it? The art definitely brings in a conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, the art also gives the opportunity for people that are uh, sitting back and waiting uh, through a process of a color or any type of a chemical service to stand up and walk around rather than just sit there uh, putting their nose in a book or a magazine or even their handheld devices. So uh, it really uh, brings out uh, a different feature. It changes, as I say, the energy in here. And primarily for me, <laughs> as I spend the most amount of time in here, <laughs> and uh, to have something change is uh, something that I always look forward to. It is our hope as artists that this exhibition will inspire you to do some corona therapy of your own to combat this global pandemic. One of the artists in our exhibition, Maya Hum, is giving free journaling workshops once a month. You may wish to check out her website, and I'm thinking of giving them myself in the near future. Feel free to contact either of us for more information at mayahum.com and you can find me, Michelle Casey, on Facebook.